Hey, how are you doing today? It's Khadija, your CEO of Henna Sook, an expert in henna hair coloring and Ayurvedic healthy hair care. And I do amazing, gorgeous, dope henna body art. So I am here today to talk to you about henna. And this actually does apply to applying literally your Ayurvedic healthy hair care treatments, but specifically, I wanna share some of the various hair types that I have done henna hair coloring treatments on. And I have some really important tips that are gonna help you do it at home yourself. If you do have someone who is very interested in learning how to apply henna, they can also benefit from this video. And I especially want you to share this with professional hair colorists because this is a great natural option for them to offer amongst the services that they provide. Grab your gloves and let's get to it. All right, welcome to the Henna Sook channel. Let's talk about coloring your hair naturally with henna, but specifically how to apply it because that can be kind of tricky for some people. So I wanna start off by letting you know that in this video, what you'll expect to see are different hair types and textures, including locks, straight hair, variety of curly hair types, getting henna applied uh, by me. You can also do this yourself because these tips, this insight and this background, you know, behind the scenes view of applying it will really help you to better, you know, apply the henna hair coloring treatment so that way you get the best coverage. And if you have pesky grays, this is going to help you cover those grays. And please do not hesitate to share this with a professional hair colorist. There is so much misinformation out there about henna that they really need to see this video. This video has so much great content that will help them see how amazing henna is and to note that we have a curriculum coming in early 2021 about naturally coloring your, your hair with henna and indigo and other Ayurvedic hair treatments for professionals. So first things first, now that you got your mix right, and if you haven't got your mix right and you're not sure, remember we have a whole bunch of videos on henna hair coloring. So definitely hit the playlist called Henna Hair Color and it'll have everything that you need to get started. So if this by chance is the first video that you're seeing, do know at Henna Sook we have a whole bunch of videos on henna hair coloring that you guys can learn how to mix it and it's so detailed and then definitely watch this video on how to apply it so that way you get the best color results. First thing first, when you're going to color your hair with henna, the question is, should I apply it onto clean or dirty hair? It varies amongst people. Some people don't care, some people do. Professionally speaking, from my own experience in the salon, I definitely recommend pre-washing and ideally clarifying. The type of clarifier that I like to use most often was a soap nut hair wash. It was easy to use, it really clarified and opened up the hair strands to really receive the color so much better. This is really important for those who have stubborn grays, hard to color hair, and really just wanna open everything up to get the best deposit. So the best deposit will also be the longest lasting color treatment for you as well. And henna hair coloring is done about every four to six weeks. And if you wanna do a root touch up in between, you definitely can do so in between as needed. And if you don't have a clarifier on hand, you can definitely choose from the other hair washes and shampoo bars that we carry to wash your hair before you're doing your hair down, hair coloring treatment. And now that your hair is washed, you don't have to dry your hair. Actually leave your hair slightly damp because henna and Ayurvedic hair care treatments go on so much easier on damp hair strands. So keep your hair damp and get ready to apply the henna hair coloring treatment that you have prepared to color your hair with. Next step is to section your hair. Do four sections in your hair, like such, like the lines I just drew with my finger. Section the hair and do a section at a time. This is really good for those who have a lot of hair. If your hair is short, you probably don't need to do that. Um, you could just definitely just apply it and go from there. But 
As soon as you have your hair section and you're ready to go, don't forget you have to use our henna care balm. We have this amazing henna care balm that will line your hairline. It's natural. It's not Vaseline. I don't recommend Vaseline. Don't use Vaseline. And use the henna care balm to line all your hairline and on your ears to avoid coloring. If you do color it by accident, just wipe it away. You know, make sure to have some paper towel handy so that you could just wipe away the paste. If by any chance it does stink, don't worry, it will go away in a couple of days. And a handy little tip is if you are really annoyed by it and some mishap of henna hair coloring happens somewhere on your skin where you don't want it, you can use baby wipes to gently exfoliate and remove the color. It'll help a little bit, but henna is pretty potent, it does stain. When applying by sections, start at the front and then move towards the back. Uh, you know, typically a lot of uh, colors will start at the front for the most part, and I found to allow it to have the most amount of dying time on this areas that are kind of stubborn, what happens to be usually like the edges and sometimes the crown area. So definitely do by sections and make sure that you do put on a good amount. Don't have your paste too thin where it's dripping because you need that moisture. You don't want your mixture to dry out for sure. If you want really good coloring results, you definitely have to make sure to really saturate really well on those proper areas. And then um, from there, once you have covered all of your hair with the henna hair color treatment, massage it in. Give your hair a really good massage. You wanna feel cool all over your scalp. That way you know that you've gotten everywhere. And you know, if you're using a hair dye brush, you know, that's a tip, you can use a hair dye brush, but you can go back over it with your hands with gloves of course, because it can stain. <laughs> Definitely go back through it, massage it, and use your hands. I love using my hands, personally, and giving it a nice massage. It feels so good, guys. It's, seriously, it really does feel good. And just really make sure you've gone all over, and then heavily saturate the edges and anywhere where there's stubborn hair, because literally I've seen hundreds of times where curls, especially, or Actually, even straight hair sometimes, just hair wants to be wild and it pops out and you may not realize that it's actually lifting out of the dye. Um, so you really gotta saturate the areas that are really stubborn. Make sure it stays moist and wet. That really helps a lot. If it's, you know, damp and it doesn't dry out, because when it dries out, it gets cakey and muddy. And actually, I feel it's so hard on the hair as well when it's so dry and it, it makes it hard to wash out. So once you know that you have had it very well, you know, saturated, it's nice and damp, then you can use um, like a shower cap, um, you know, that you can use and wrap it up really well. Maybe even like to put on a bonnet over that or um, like a scarf or something to really wrap it up and keep it nice and warm as well. I have a tip for those of you who are coloring your hair and have low porosity hair. You may want to use a heat cap, something to really get some more heat going on in there because if your hair is more open, it'll also receive the color much better. You'll get better penetration as well. I definitely found that to be the case. So low porosity, you need to give it a little bit more heat and a little bit more push to really get that stubborn hair colored really well. That really helps a lot. Make sure to have your extra towels all around, you know, old t-shirt when, you know, when you, of course, before you get started, but definitely have it all uh, extra towels and paper towel in case it does drip some. And now let's jump into the good part. The good part where we see how I applied henna hair coloring treatments on different hair types and textures. So before I started, her hair was already clean. So I did spritz it with more damp water. And then I am applying the henna hair color from the beginning of her, you know, her hairline all the way moving towards like the back and getting uh, it all in between. But I didn't do sections per se because her hair is a bit on the thinner side. So I didn't have to do sections per se on her hair. And then I definitely will lift it all up, up the top of the hair, kind of creating like a bit of a bun on top when I'm coloring the hair and then ensuring that all the edges are colored really well. And then I use two shower caps to put onto her um, hair. 
Her hair was freshly washed already and I just detangled it a little bit more so that way it make the application go on so much easier. And again, I started at the front and worked all the way to the back. I didn't really section per se with like clips and whatnot because I didn't really need to. And then just applying it through thoroughly throughout her hair and then wrapping it up almost like a bit of a bun and putting two shower caps over that as well. So when applying henna on locks, I ideally do like to use a very finely sifted henna powder, usually the Jamila the, and the, the Indian henna powders are really finely sifted and it makes it very easy to wash out. For this particular client, she has used henna before and there was henna and indigo that we used to color her hair and she's very familiar with you know coloring her her hair with henna and indigo before previously and she decided that she was just going to wrap it up leave it on for three to four hours and wash it out at home herself so her hair is freshly washed and slightly damp still and we're applying a mix of henna and indigo and i did section her hair off because she does have a lot of hair in those sections as i am coloring them i basically like to put them on top of the hair and kind of make it a bit like a, a bun or a little bit of a crown type thing that way it stays out of my way as i'm working on other sections and then from there i'm just applying it making sure to get it in really well massaging it there at the end and then fully making a full crown so tell me a little bit about how you came to know about henna and Ayurvedic hair care. YouTube. Um, I think being on this natural hair journey, um, I was just looking for something that was natural and without all the chemicals. Mm -hmm. um, I've had breakage over the years with using chemicals. Um, my journey started back in 2013 and that's when I did my big chop. And then over the years, just trying new things. And um, last year, I think it was probably May or June, I was like, you know what? I wanna definitely do Arabic hair care. Uh -huh. And then that's when I went on YouTube and mm -hmm. um, I found Curly Proverbs and yeah. um, you know, she was a you know supporter of henna. Yeah. And, um, and that's how I found henna. Great, what's your, your hair type? My hair type is 4A, 4B. Okay, okay. And maybe, a, Oh, maybe for C somewhere okay. in there too. If you were to tell anybody like any advice about henna and Ayurvedic hair care, is there anything that you would share that either you wish you knew mm -hmm. or they you really feel like it's important that they know? Well, just do your research. I mean, with yeah. anything that you put on your body or in your body, just mm -hmm. do your research before you do it because everything's not for everybody. And you just want to make sure you're using the purest products out there. So I would just say do your research. Mm -hmm. I, I've always felt with some of the video and the information that's out there that people do get confused. Again, it's information it, overload. Yes. And then sometimes some people think that one way might work for them and it doesn't always like you know work the same way it might have worked for somebody else. But mm -hmm. I, I feel feel like with those adjustments and you can really have a lot of success like I, I definitely for me personally I would definitely like to see more colors and stylists like because I, I feel agree, like if yeah. they start educating people then it will be more well known because the right. people that are we trust and look to to do you know our similar hair. to like what you do and that's why I'm here <laughs> I traveled multi-states to get here yeah. for my visit with you today right. so yes awesome. <laughs> all right so we're gonna get into it so definitely did detangle her hair further. It's really nice and damp and I just wanted to make sure that it was fully detangled and then I made all her hair into sections and then I started at the front and started moving towards the back by section slowly. And again, you can see me making the crown on top of the hair to get the hair out of the way so that I can work on different sections. And then towards the end, I fully massage it all in at the very, very end to make sure all the edges and all the areas are fully colored and double wrapped with the shower cap. So tell me a little bit about your hair journey or how you came to find out about henna and Ayurvedic hair care. Um, I am a bit of a YouTube junkie. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, and so I saw some uh, videos with Curly Proverbs and I've been following uh, Naturally Fiber yeah. for quite some time. There was a, I think a hair challenge or a bundle or yeah, something yeah, that was yeah. for sale at the time. So let me look at it, into it. So I was all over your site <laughs> and trying to figure out, you know, what would work for me and I, I just kind of felt like I had been guessing for a long time. You know, I'm moving back to this area and I said, well, oh. let's see if I can get an appointment and I did, <laughs> yeah. so here I am. So, so what are your, your definitely some of your hair goals? Like what, what do you want to achieve? I definitely feel like some of the things I've done to my hair, um, coloring it pretty consistently, mm -hmm. 
uh, you know, with harsh color coloring agents, um, lots of heat. I haven't had a relaxer uh, since '04, okay. so it's been a while. Um, but the coloring and the heat just have wreaked havoc on my yeah. hair. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting some thickness back because it feels like it's thinned out quite a bit, mm -hmm. having my hair be healthy, mm -hmm. uh, and then growing to, you know, great lengths again. Mm -hmm. At one point, my hair was mid-back and I loved it. Well, <laughs> I, want, I want to be able to do that again. Yeah. Well, no, we definitely need to get those goals. I really feel like this That's is going to work well for you. Right. I just feel like this, just treatments and consistency is going to be like okay. huge. Yeah. Let's just jump into it. <laughs> Perfect. So as I started to detangle her hair, I also put the henna care balm, as you can see in the video, all around her edges and on her ears so that way it didn't color everywhere. Her hair, I didn't really need to section. I was able to go through it and do my own sections and thoroughly color her hair because she didn't have as much hair as some clients do. And usually I use my best judgment in that. And then put it on as a crown, bun it up to the top of the head and make sure to good saturation with the henna hair coloring treatment and getting the edges really well done, wrapped up and good to go. So coloring her hair, I got her edges really well saturated with the henna care balm. Then I'm coloring all over her hair by section. I'm making my own sections. I didn't have to clip it down by section because she didn't have a whole lot of hair. And then just thoroughly saturating the gray hair and the edges to make sure to get it fully penetrated in the best, best color results. And you see I massage it in really well. And then I'm going to wrap it up with two shower caps. So there's no drips anywhere and she will leave it on for three to four hours. What brought you to find out and discover henna and Ayurvedic hair care? Well, my very good friend um, had started using it a few months ago <laughs> and she kept raving about it. And I was having you know, some challenges with my hair. I've mm -hmm. been natural now since about 2010, 2011. Okay. Postmenopausal, I started mm -hmm. having receding hairline, mm -hmm. um, getting that hormonal V up in my temple. Mm -hmm. um, my crown hair is very thin, and I also have like three different curl patterns in my hair. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but my challenge pretty much with the crown. Oh, okay. So when I talked to my friend and she had told me about the results that she was having with Henna, mm -hmm. I said, well, okay, let me, you know, take a look. And I started doing a little bit of research. Um, so I've been experimenting with different things um, with Henna some of your products um, <laughs> for about the past four weeks. Okay. Um, I'm starting to see a response with my hair. Okay, okay. Um, so now I just want to see if I can totally get away from mm. chemicals or as much uh, away from chemicals as I can okay. um, and just go the natural route. Was there any like particular like first product that you used as far as when it comes to henna? Was it henna right away or was it like a non-coloring herb? I used cassia. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, love, my hair loved it. Oh, okay, great. Absolutely loved it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Did you use like a, a mask or do more like a DIY? I used the, the mask. The mask? Uh, oh, okay. Your mask. Oh, yeah, like the and cassia the mm -hmm. curls and mm -hmm. what? Yeah, that was yeah. a good one, yeah. That's my favorite one. Do you usually do that mask like like on a certain type of regimen? Like have you decided like how how often you want to do it? I wash my hair every week. Okay. Um, so if I do a mask, um, then that following week I do um, a moisture, oh, okay, okay. Uh, deep condition kind of thing. Okay. So at best I will say on a monthly basis I will mm. do two masks and two moisture treatments. Okay. I just wrote, I just and all together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that sounds good. And how do you see like the henna hair color coming into that like fold? Will that just extend it to a six week? plan um or? i want the henna because i want to get away from like i said mm -hmm. chemical dyeing mm -hmm. like right now i have um i've been using a rinse mm -hmm. um so if i can get the deep black color that i want mm -hmm. henna mm -hmm. um then i'm happy okay with that and i will probably do that like maybe every other month okay um okay. or probably just do a root touch up okay you know so that when my hair yeah when my gray starts to come in, I don't have all these colors in my hair. Yeah, I just have yeah, dark yeah. hair and light hair and that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
She came in with freshly washed hair and it was slightly damp, so I took it out of the twist that she had it in and detangled it really well. Then I applied the henna care balm to all the edges in her ears and then I started to apply all the henna and indigo hair coloring treatment to all of her hair and pulled up the hair to the top of the hair. You know, it would be out of my way as I worked on new sections and I kept massaging it in really, really well to get and penetrate those areas that were gray. And then we wrapped it up and she's gonna leave it on for three to four hours. What can I do for you? All right, so tell me about your hair. How long have you been using henna and Arabic Oh, hair boy. Um, gosh, maybe, um, probably since maybe 12, 2012, maybe? Okay. okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been, been a really yeah. long time. Oh, okay. Then how did you first learn about like henna? Was that, um, I wanted just... to color my hair without using that PPD chemical. Okay. That's really, that was really okay. it. And okay. my hair is kind of, I always thought it was just weak, mm. but it's it and maybe it kind of is <laughs> but the henna makes it like super i always call it like super super superhero striped hair because it feels oh, like that. that's because it feels like when i leave and i wash when i wash yeah, it out yeah. it's like oh wow it's like somebody else it's so strong mm -hmm. it's it feels like it could take a brush just breaking through it it just yeah, really yeah. feels so oh, so okay. so strong and it's 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 awesome the way it feels and it lasts it lasts a pretty long time too okay. and what type like hair type would you say you have oh three c four a mm -hmm. okay so combination yeah yeah a lot of i feel like a lot of people do ask me about like their hair type uh, they get questions like that but sometimes people don't realize they actually have more than one type of hair right type. mine yeah. is about six <laughs> it's yeah. about six yeah. going on yeah and, it, yeah. and it's in spots so it's like 3C around the perimeter. And then the top is like some other kind of combination, which uh -huh. I think a lot of people have this crown thing yeah, where it's yeah. um, thicker and like mm -hmm. a whole different uh, thing going on. So a lot of people do the four part and they always say part and four. I'm not, I'm a five. I have to do five because this needs to be treated. Yeah. Totally. That's what I learned in my little, okay, my hair journey. Okay, okay. This needs to be treated differently really than everything else. I didn't think about it at all. Because people do was... four and I, I'll do the four. But yeah. this is this five has to be it needs huh. its own thing. And, and how often do you feel you have to do um your hair? I, I I'm like, I, I'm or... kind of putting myself on a six to eight week schedule. All right. And is there anything if you had to tell anybody about just henna in general, like and the whole experience of henna, is there anything that you wish you might have known or any tidbit? The the um I, I left out YouTube. Mm -hmm. What there's I said so in my journey YouTube, and, and, and researching, a lot of people um, are having. They, 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 there's a lot of uh, uh, information out there that's kind of um, negative towards henna, and I think yeah. people um, aren't. Uh, they they get these things in their head and they do the stuff. They just throw all these oils. It's not necessary, really. The the basic mix is warm yeah. water, henna. Let it let it be. Yeah. Um. You yeah. Deep condition after. That's what I would say because these people doing these combinations of mm. and i'm watching them and they're in their kitchen and they're doing like oil and coconut and, and this and, and i'm going you don't need yeah. all of that actually it may block true, it from true. your yeah, hair from yeah. absorbing yeah. all the good stuff yeah, exactly yeah so some people i do over almost overthink the recipe and it, it's and, too much yeah and, and so, i get i get that they are scared it might dry i get that their hair might be dry and it may be just you know, deep condition right after, yeah. um, and and you, I think everybody will be fine. I mean, definitely for me. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I told you I was doing yeah. coconut milk. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's that's fine. Everyone can choose the recipe that works right. best for them. But when it comes to color, keeping it simple, simple. Gets simple you the is, best the best, is, yeah. the, is the best. Is the best. Easy. Right. Yeah. It's what they did in the uh, back in the uh, day. And back in the day, right? Yeah. With the Cleopatra. That's yeah. what they were doing. Yeah. They exactly. had all the stuff. <laughs> so I did her edges with the henna care balm and I detangled, and then I started applying the henna and indigo hair coloring treatment. And I got it all over her hair, did my own sections, pulled it up the hair to the top of the hair as needed to get everything out of my way and applied it really well and thoroughly so that way she'd get good color and good penetration. And then I massage it in really well. This time I did make it like a little thicker than last time than for you. I feel like That's I good. thicker. So does it feel heavier to you in any way? It does. It does feel okay. heavier. Good, 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 good. And I did want to tell when people are doing their hair, and if you're doing it on your own, definitely give yourself like a good massage, like to make sure that everything got in. And, and right. make sure you go over like touch up the edges. Right. Okay. So good. Definitely. You know I'm loving henna. <laughs> I'm big on henna. I just am so happy to come here because I don't have to mess up my kitchen and I don't have to I don't, all I gotta do is wash it out <laughs> four hours 
or go to sleep and do it in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, what is your plan, actually? Do you think- I, last time, last mm-hmm. time I came, mm-hmm. I, I just kind of watched a movie. That was my plan for tonight. Watch a movie. Mm-hmm. Me and my date here. My date, my date, <laughs> Hannah. And we watch, <laughs> what you said? We eat, we watch a movie. <laughs> But anyway, I just yeah. I like I like the whole like I said super superhero hair and um, the <laughs> scalp nice. you know because I don't have like a, a, I feel sorry for people when I see that they have itchy and like you know yeah, it, but yeah. this will like help that all this this on your scalp will help with the itchy what else yeah, does it do because you're the expert yes I mean it definitely like, soothes the scalp soothing yeah. and you know if any itchiness or any scalp issues it's all gonna be gone yeah this is so really people, people really should jump on. Yeah, because henna has other benefits. Other than the henna, henna, like the hair color benefits and the coverage that you get in right. rays, it's just really just healing. It's, it's really, very really healing. healing. Yeah, and it forces you to slow down and take you know, time for yourself. <laughs> you know what that is? The slow down? <laughs> no, that that's something I've read about. I, I'm not really oh. sure about the slow down thing. <laughs> we don't want it yeah. to run because we're and, slowing down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then when sometimes I, I notice that when the grays on the edges, because they can be really stubborn, mm-hmm. sometimes I feel like if it dries out too much, then you won't get the color, the color, because it's just basically oh. dried out. So if it, you keep it like damp and a little bit wet. See, I didn't know that. I actually yeah, didn't I know, know that. that. Yeah, it has to stay damp. Okay, I think yeah, yeah, that was a thing. Mm-hmm. So I should just pull the, pull the plastic like further down. Since mine yeah, comes so yeah, far. Exactly. But luckily yeah. you're gonna have some so you're gonna take some with you to do a little <gasps> yes, touch up. I am. You know, just touch it I'm along so edges. lucky. I, I get to come here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am I'm just, I, I just am. I'm just so happy about this whole you are doing my hair <laughs> with Anna and I get to go and I get to go home and just wash it out. I look forward to this. I'm so ner- I'm like nervous as I'm coming here in traffic, like I can't be late. I can't be late. I gotta get I gotta get the stuff in my hair. Like people don't know. You want it and under it's just so easy. Um, under. Under. Yeah. Yeah. I've got this weird thing about the ears. Maybe it's because I was born with those holes. <laughs> <laughs> Get that? It's so convenient. It's like three dollars no, at the beauty supply. I know, but it's really like. And I'm, I'm weird in the house. I didn't even take it off. Like why? Mm-hmm. And it washed out really, really well. It was, it was so funny. Cause it was like, eh, it's just gonna be my henna cap, and it was, it, it didn't stain at all. No, cause it's black, it's perfect. <laughs> now, what did you guys think about all the ways that I applied henna for clients? Did you find it interesting? Do you have more questions? Are you wondering maybe I missed something that you have more questions about? You want to go more in depth? You want more details? Definitely post in the comments below. I want to hear your feedback. I want to know what your thoughts were and how some of this might have helped you. I want to hear about your results. You know, share and let me know how it turned out for you. Highly recommend, if you can, please share it with a professional hair colorist that you know, the beauty salon that you go to, share this information with them because we have this professional curriculum coming out in early 2021 that they are going to absolutely love. This is a great service to add to their line and I'm gonna have a full curriculum that they can start providing this service for their clients and it's going to show them how to do it so easily, tips and tricks, it's just gonna be fully detailed and trust me, they're gonna absolutely love this and you're gonna love this too because then you can go and get your services done by them. So thank you again for joining me yet in another Henna Sook video on caring for your hair with henna hair coloring treatments, Ayurvedic healthy hair care, some door gorgeous henna body art. Subscribe and get notified so that way you can stay tuned for all the new videos, great content that we have coming out because we have so much more coming out. And if you have a special request, you can definitely let me know in the comments. I will gladly take your suggestions and hopefully can get it into the queue of all the great content that we're creating because I love creating content that you all want to hear more about. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.